At our ministry, we produce a lot of videotapes. We've made over a million videos now in six languages. They're not copyrighted. We encourage you to get our stuff and spread it around. See, evolution says we started off tiny and we're getting bigger and better and stronger and smarter. Ugh, another creationist who doesn't understand that evolution doesn't make you better by the criterion you judge to be good, whether that be size, strength, intelligence, etc., but simply allows organisms to become better suited to their environment. This frequently involves communal activity. See, evolution says we started off tiny and we're getting bigger and better and stronger and smarter. I think the Bible indicates we started off bigger and we're getting smaller and weaker and dumber. Oh dear. Actually, the thing that has most revolutionized civilization is knowledge. Since the birth of modern science, the effect on society can be most dramatically seen in the average lifespan. Now, it's true in the last hundred years there's been an increase of about six inches in average height only in industrialized countries. And that's because of increased nutrition, food supply, better sanitation. Are you familiar with the old robot saying, does not compute? So he says that we are getting weaker and dumber, as the Bible says, and yet we have discovered inventions such as sanitation and modern farming which were evidently beyond the ability of our stronger and smarter biblical forefathers. The following three clips are all taken from the same creationist video. I think things were a little bigger before the flood. Much bigger, actually. Carl Baugh in Texas is raising piranha in a pressurized chamber with increased electromagnetic field trying to simulate pre-flood conditions. His fish are getting four times the size of normal. You can buy these at the pet store today. It's called a Jackson Chameleon. Got three horns on his face. I bet something similar to that. If you let it live 900 years, it would get to be a Triceratops. Hmm? Now, I don't think today's lizards would grow to be dinosaurs if you let them live long enough. I think there's been any more than, you know, you could take all the chihuahuas today and crossbreed them and end up with a Great Dane. You know, I think it's just the genes for largeness are gone for whatever reason. Pre-flood conditions, his fish are getting four times the size of normal. The genes for largeness are gone for whatever reason. That does not compute. Now, I don't want you to go home and say there's billions of dinosaurs roaming the world and you need to be careful when you go to the mall. That's not what I'm saying. <clears throat> what I'm saying is there's a few places where there's still a few been spotted here lately. The genes for largeness are gone, for whatever reason. That does not compute. 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 This creationist is now speculating how he thinks hunter-gatherers function. During that time, people would wander around following herds of animals, and you don't want to carry a pile of rocks with you. So you wait till you catch up with the herd and then you make your tools right on the spot. You kill the animals and leave the tools behind. Okay, Mr. Creationist, there's the herd of animals. Now, where's your flint for making the tools? Where's the trees for making the spears? Where's the bulrushes for making your arrows? Evidently, even in hunter-gatherer communities, creationists wouldn't survive without the smarter elements of the tribe. It takes skill and the right material to make rock tools. You can't just pick up a rock and make a tool from it. There is considerable time invested in finding the right materials and making the rock tools. You certainly don't throw them away. So you wait till you catch up with the herd and then you make your tools right on the spot. I think the Bible indicates we started off bigger and we're getting smaller and weaker and dumber. You can buy these at the pet store today. It's called a Jackson Chameleon. Got three horns on his face. I bet something similar to that. If you let it live 900 years, it'd get to be a Triceratops. Hmm?